Hi, I'm Caleb Rosero with Miller. The formula for success when welding wire processes in the field begins with selecting the right consumables and equipment for the job. Traditionally, stick and TIG have been used in outdoor applications, in part due to old habits and also because past experiences with MIG and flux cord wire were met with difficulties. Wire welding processes offer significant benefits for both the shop and the field. Increased productivity and efficiency three to four times those of stick or TIG welding. The ROI in wire processes is delivered by increased productivity because 80% of the cost of welding in the field is labor. Providing welding operators with advanced technology and equipment helps improve their productivity and safety while saving time and money. Here are a few tips that can help ensure success. When selecting the size and type of drive roll, consider the size and type of wire being used for the application. Since flux cord wire is softer due to the flux inside the tubular design, it requires a knurled drive roll which has teeth to grab the wire and help push it through. However, knurled drive roll should not be used with solid wire. The teeth can cause shavings to break off of the wire, which can cause premature wear out of the liner and the front end consumables. Use a smooth V-groove drive roll with solid wire to avoid this problem. Most feeders now come installed with an inlet guide, which helps guide the wire into the drive roll properly. Inlet guides are designed to work with a range of wire sizes, so make sure the inlet guide being used is properly sized for the wire. Setting proper drive roll tension is essential. The drive rolls are designed to pull wire off of the wire spool into the gun cable. Setting the drive roll tension too tight can deform the wire, which can result in arc instability or burn back. Too little tension also can be problematic and cause wire slippage. To set the proper tension, begin by releasing the tension on the drive rolls. The welding operator can increase the tension while feeding the wire into a block of wood, continuing to increase the tension one half turn past wire slippage. The shielding gas protects the molten weld pool from the surrounding atmosphere, which would otherwise contaminate the weld. Nozzle design and cleanliness are very important to maintaining proper gas coverage. Using a quality gas diffuser and a larger diameter nozzle helps ensure adequate shielding gas coverage of the weld. Choosing a smaller diameter gas nozzle will help to maintain the proper wire stick out when reaching into deep groove welds. Also make sure to keep the nozzle clean as they can become filled with spatter, which can lead to a lack of shielding gas coverage. Not all applications on the job site can be transitioned over to wire, but wire welding in the field can lead to increased productivity and efficiency, as well as quality. Miller understands what your field business needs to be more productive and efficient. For more information, contact your Miller Welding distributor or visit MillerWelds.com.